Hey, how's it going? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Frank Trot and today, you know, I have a post-narrated battle. I said that, well, I do that sometimes when I'm like, don't have that many times to record or I have, I'm studying and stuff. I post some narrated battles that I have saved during a long time. Uh, uh, have them. I think they are pretty good battles, so they have that competitive aspect right there. And uh, <coughs> basically, um, it's just uh, some. I normally have those battles when I'm like lathering or like trying some teams. This time I'm trying a team that I will soon hopefully make a session about it in the tier changes. Most of you said to me that uh, I had to use Pangoro, but before that. Um, I'd say, uh, please, uh, I uploaded a video in my second channel, it's the best moments, um, it's the best moments of that LP, it will be, I would edit that, I would put like, uh, something right there, a picture here, and I'll put a link in the description, all the links, all, your, all the links you need will be in the description and, and on screen, and, uh, <coughs> basically I want you to please try to give that a whirl, you know, uh, just, check that out uh, you will have a great fun time and also check the update I just did before because because um, you know updates are important it's about college about the second channel what games I will do next and all that so all the links you need will be in the description please uh, check them out they are pretty important um, if you have the time of course uh, but today we have this battle it's an RU we have trying an RU team we have a life orb swords and Spengoro we have a special defensive aromatise because it's very good. We do have an assault vest uh, barbarical, which it's not doing too much. I may try it in more lower tiers because in this tier it doesn't hit like too hard or well, not too hard, but his coverage doesn't hit the tier too well. <coughs> then we have a specs switcheroo Delphox, a scarf trick um, Rotom, and then a defensive toxic rapid spinner. Hitman top and on his team we do have kind of a stolly core there with a Loma Mola and Bronzong. He does have the Rotom uh, a scarf, what no the Rotom Mo too. And uh, he does have Tyrantrum, a Braviary, and uh, a Meloetta, which he has a pretty scary team, honestly. I was really scared. Um let's see though how the team will do against him and the battle will begin now. You will probably see this team later, um, uh, with some things changed maybe. I do live with this, it's Scarf, he doesn't have a ground type, so I have, do have the freedom to Volt Switch. Uh, but I decided to trick, but he actually expects that, so I trick him the Scarf to this Braviary, which is a problem. Because <coughs> now, Scarf Braviary actually does pretty well against my team, once Barbarical is, is dead, so I do have to be careful with that. Uh, I do have the Volt Switch initiative though, after his U-turn. Uh, he brings Tyrantrum, get intimidated with the... Uh, Hitman top, and now I can just drop a toxic on something. And thankfully, I dropped the toxic on the Alamomolo, which is fantastic. Turn three, and already got the the toxic on that, which is beautiful. That's gonna pressure him so much. Uh, he's gonna go for the knockoff. I get rid of my choice band. Good prediction on my part, and I am free to just Vol switch. Uh, but he protects. I guess I don't know really why that. I don't see, I don't know why people are that, but in any case, now I'm gonna stay in, predicting him to stay, maybe thinking he could take a Vol switch, and I go for the Thunderbolt, and he brings Meloetta, I want to see if he's Scarf or not, so I'm just gonna go for the Vol switch, and he, he's not, I get a crit, uh, you know, gotta embrace the habits when it happen, and I'll, <coughs> I'll bring my Assault Vest uh, Barbarical, which, because it's pretty damn bulky, uh, but he U-turns, so he has some kind of Voltron going on there, uh, but I am not too scared of this Bronzong. He he's just gonna put the rocks, but he has intimidated. He can really not touch me. But he reveals a toxic, which is very bad for me. Uh, which I'm gonna decide now to switch into my fire type, uh, my Delphox. So there it is. Uh, to take the incoming gyro ball of rocks and try to trick him uh, the switcheroo. So I have double trigger in this team, which is great. And he's gonna be locked into earthquake now. Um, <coughs> So it's a free switch into my Rotom, basically, um, but he's gonna be smart, he's gonna predict that, and go into his Scarf Braviary, Scarf Braviary is putting so much pressure in my team, it's insane, uh, and he's not going for Braver, he's just doing the, uh, the good moves, going for the U-turn and keeping his offensive pressure, uh, and he's forcing me to switch out, I'm in the backseat on this battle, but um, he does have Discharge on this, so I don't know what type of Rotom will be, 
He gets the para, which means that I'm pretty sure I should be going for heal battle right now as he brings uh, these bronze on to try to just put the rocks or toxic me. Uh, but I'm not too scared about it, though I will just scout for the rocks just in case he decides to put them expecting the protect. But she, she, he just goes for the gyro ball, um, so it's fine for my thing. I expect him to switch actually, but he didn't, so <coughs> I don't know why he didn't switch there. But I mean, I can't really touch him with close combat anyway, so what I'm going to do is actually switch into this. Uh, the the Pangor to start setting up, I see he brings a Loma Mola, which is not bad, I can set up on this. I don't know if I want to keep life or, or to put Long Berry on this, because I'm really scared of Skulls. Uh, he didn't burn me this time, but um, I don't know, just seeing... I got plus two Pangoro with knockoff and drain punch, it's fucking insane. But seeing at these calls, it could have burned me, it's just it just makes me uncomfortable. So I don't know I don't know what item to put. So there you go. No, uh, Pangoro gets rid of Aromomola, but now he brings this. I was expecting him to U-turn actually now again, and I decided to sack, sack my Rotom for uh, initiative pro um, um, you know for initiative basically so I can just bring my Dial Fox. Uh, he's expecting the psychic attack uh, and he brings this but uh, I know that uh, max defend I, I max HP bronze on can take a fire blast because I've seen it in, in the <coughs> in the what's called during for experience I know it so I have to switch I don't want him to lock himself into our thing, so he expects me to switch, expecting me to do such a thing. But I do go into my aromatherapy just in case, so I can get the aromatherapy. And now he brings Tyrantrum, which uh, it's a bad idea. So he realizes that brings back Bronzong, and uh, this time I decided to just set up a wish. I th uh, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring my thing, my my babe, my Beyblade, and decide to probably uh, toxic his switch because I'm pretty sure he's gonna be switching now. And this time I get the Toxic, I couldn't get the spin, but I get the Toxic on the Braviary, because this fucking Braviary, uh, let me tell you, he's getting, <coughs> he's getting, like, free switches all the time, and I need to get residual damage, and I also need rocks on this team. So that's why Barbarical, I maybe change that for a Rhyperior or something, I will see though what I'll do. Um, so basically this Braviary, I need to start getting some residual damage on it, uh, since I don't have rocks and I decide to Toxic instead of Rapid Spin directly. And I don't know, I feel like that's gonna help me. So I'm just gonna go uh, to this expecting probably the Braver, but he makes a good play, expects that and uh, kills the Barbarical with the superpower. Since he's on minus one attack though, I can just bring the, uh, what's it called, this. And with Intimidate, I know he will be just a neutral, so I will be taking these superpowers fairly, fairly easy. So I can just take this opportunity to Rapid Spin, and then uh, <coughs> switch out into Aromatis. So, he expects that, obviously, and he goes to, for the Bronze which is fine. Now it is the moment that I said before that I go for the Wish, and uh, I want to get the recovery on some of my Mons. And if he locks, he goes for Gyro Ball, Aromatis, even though it's super effective, it's really, really slow, so it doesn't hurt me at all. So now, free switch into Panda, uh, he expects the Panda, goes into Breviary, but I do get my Panda at full HP, which is beautiful, uh, which is fantastic, because I can keep it for the late game if I need it. Uh, here, I'm expecting him to overpredict again, he goes for the superpower, if I were him, I would I would have went for Braver, but he didn't want to get the recoils uh, set, so... Uh, now I am blaze range, so now I know I can Oko the bronze on the incoming bronze on that is here And I could leave the superpower from the minus one brave area. So I Oko the bronze on he was expecting to leave and sack this but uh, Here here we go. I outspeed. I know I outspeed. I go for the grass knot I was pretty sure he was about to go for the dragon dance and if not I could have sacked uh, I was just basically sacking this but I didn't want to allow him to get free dragon dances so I go for the grass now, does a lot into Tyrantrum, and uh, he over predicts here, which is fantastic. I've been predicting all this match, but this time I will decide to just stay in this time. Get rid of his t of this Tyrantrum, I couldn't allow to s just switch, and even if he like killed me, I do have the Hitmon top, I do have the Intimidate, and uh, yeah, that's Fire Blast. <laughs> and I do have uh, the Sucker Punch. So, in the end, I don't really think he needed to overpredict that much. Just to, I would just attack and at least get some kills. But Delphox is going through this man's team. As you can see, Fire Blast is destroying Meloetta too. Um, 
and basically uh, Del Fox gives no fox. He, I'm gonna just stay here. Thanks to the recovery I've got, I can get a little bit of more recoil in this Braviary. Um, and now I'll bring this. Uh, he would have died for a recoil anyways, but I'm gonna reveal the Sucker Punch. Doesn't matter about the Defiance. Uh, I'll reveal the Sucker Punch. He's dead. And I'm pretty sure Hero can't beat Aromatis. And I have Pangora at full HP too, just in case. So I, I have all the... I don't know, I, I feel like I play this game very well. Close combat does a lot. I feel like I played the game pretty well. He over predicted. I took I took his mistakes and I just took advantage from them, which is what you have to do in a battle. Um, <laughs> and yeah, basically, sucker punch, close combat, almost killing the Rotom, and uh, yeah, sexy like cleaning the game. I love her. One, it's is al he's always there. She's always there in the in in the, what's called uh, in the teams, basically. Uh, in the RU team, so there you go, so there it is, uh, Aromati is there, I love her, um, I don't know, I feel I feel like I played this battle too well, uh, uh, not too well, very well, uh, and uh, I got, you know, some checks, I got everything I needed to beat these last months, I preserved my win conditions and, you know, I thought it was a great battle, also, he j we there's have been a lot of predictions, you've seen a 42 turn battle, they normally pretty good, uh, unless they are like really stolid, which this one wasn't. Um, <laughs> we got some plays going on. My opponent though over predict, and that cost him really hard, and that's why he lost. Lost, sorry. Uh, so yeah, check the links, please. All the links in the descriptions, and I will see you in the next thing I will do on this channel. So see you there. Bye.